In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to make a title appear above the mountains in the distance without using the title reveal mask. We had a tutorial showing you how to do it using that tool, but a subscriber said, I don't have that in my copy of PowerDirector. Is there another way to do it? The answer is yes. We're going to show you the alternate way in this tutorial. First of all, we'd like to ask you to look at the following example, and then we'll show you how we use this other method to achieve the same result. What I've done so far is I've taken a title, it's just the word sunrise, and it's on the screen in track number two. We're going to deactivate track two for now. What I want to do is sandwich it between two copies of the video. So I'm going to take one copy and drag it to track number one. And I'm going to take the same copy and drag it at the same point in my timeline in track number three. Now what I'm going to do is temporarily deactivate also track number one. Now we're going to go to track number three. When I click on track three and click on the tools button above the timeline, my second option is Mask Designer. Let's check on that one. Now we're going to create a mask. I'm going to create a mask above about halfway on the left side where my title will rise above the mountains. So I'm going to magnify my view a little bit, move the hand over, and then I'm going to click on the button here that says Create a Custom Selection Mask. In order for this technique to work, you need this tool. Otherwise, all you have is rectangles that you can use. So we'll use this one here. And then we'll just drop these points along the edge of the mountain range. And the sun will come up above the hills. And so will the title. And so we'll mask up to the top, over to the left, and we'll close it on the lower left side. There's our mask. Now I need to invert it, so I'm going to click on the Invert Mask in the middle of the left panel. That's where our mask will be. I need to make sure that the mask is in effect in the first frame of the video, so I'll drag it to the left and then click on OK. Now we're going to go back to our video with the title. I'm going to double click on it so you can see what we've done. We have our word sunrise. We go to the first keyframe. The word sunrise is below the mountains. We move with the right arrow on our position value. We set another position value five seconds in, and now it's above the horizon, above the mountains. That's all we did on this particular one. I'll click on cancel. I didn't make any changes. And so when we play the first part of our video, here's what we're going to see. We're going to see we don't see sunrise until it rises above the mountains. Now the problem here is it's coming into black. That's not what we want. So that's why we've taken a second copy of the video and placed it on track number one. So that will make the background behind the word sunrise normal. So we're actually sandwiching the title between the two copies, one of which has a mask on it, the other one which is perfectly normal. So when we play this, we're going to see the words arise, sunrise, behind the mountains, and there we go. So this is an alternative way to achieve this same kind of technique when you're, when, without using the title reveal mask in CyberLink PowerDirector.